Welcome back to the cafe. In our display cabinet, we always have a range of different sweet pastry tarts. Over the next few videos, I'll be demonstrating some of our most popular ones. For this, you need a good sweet pastry recipe. So, let's begin. To start with, I'm using a mixer. You can do this by hand if you wish. In my bowl, I've already weighed out some pastry flour. If you can't get hold of pastry flour, just use plain all-purpose flour. To this, I'm going to add some caster sugar and then some cold unsalted butter, which I've already cubed up. I'm now going to mix this until it reaches a breadcrumb-like stage. This has now been mixing for about four to five minutes. And as you can see, it's gone to this lovely crumbly texture, which is perfect for the next stage. In this bowl, I've beaten some eggs and vanilla together. I'm then gonna add that into my mix and then pop it on the go until it forms a ball of dough. and leave it in the fridge for around 15 to 20 minutes. Now the pastry is resting in the fridge, I'm going to take this time to talk through the different moulds that we use at the cafe. Our first mould has a straight edge and we use this for our hundred pan tarts. Our next mould has a fluted edge and we use this for our chocolate tarts and our fresh fruit tarts. Finally, we have our deeper fluted mould. We use this for a bacon tart as well as a custard tart, all of which I'll be showing you over the next few videos. To prepare my tart case, I'm going to use some non-stick spray and a little bit of baking parchment. If you can't get hold of non-stick spray, just use some butter and this will prevent it from sticking. Now time to roll out the pastry. And for this, you just need to dust the work surface with a little bit of flour. And then, just using a rolling pin, I'm just going to lightly roll it and keep turning it at each third. You don't need to apply too much pressure. And you don't want to have too much flour on the work surface either. And then the kind of thickness you're after is about three millimetres. So once the pastry is to this thickness, I'm then just going to lay it into my pre-prepared tin, and then I'm just gonna fold it up from the sides and push it in with my thumbs, like so. You've got to be really gentle when you do this, so just take your time. Once it's in all the way around, just use the thumbs to really press it in. And finally, I'm just going to use some scissors just to trim off the excess, but I will be leaving a slight overhang, and the reason for this is I'll be trimming it once it's baked. Have, you can just gather it back together, press it back into a ball, and then you can reuse that. I'm now going to blind bake these. I've got a square of baking parchment that I've just scrunched up, and now I'm just going to lay that flat over the pastry. I'm using some baking beans. Alternatively, you could use rice instead. And I'll just put a good handful on top.
I'm now going to bake these in a preheated oven at 160 degrees for 14 minutes. These tarts have now had about 10 minutes cooling down. I'm now going to use a small serrated knife just to trim off the excess and I'll be doing it at an angle and using a sawing motion like so. So there you have it, our sweet pastry tart shell ready to be filled. Join me next week when I'll be showing you my white chocolate and raspberry tart. Until then, I'll see you next time.